Guess what day it is? Why not Wednesday? <laughs> with us again and we're gonna go through your questions and we're going to answer. That's right. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> any questions. We posted it online and now we are here to answer anything. I haven't even had a sip yet and I'm feeling <laughs> I'm feeling funny. Okay. So how many times a week do you do yoga? I do yoga. I try to do a little bit every single morning if I can. It doesn't have to be a big whole thing five to 10 minutes in the morning, or if I'm doing a full class, like once or twice a week. I try to mix it up. What about you guys? Well, you also just did 30 days in a row. Yeah. For your yoga training. Yeah. So cool. So yeah, I did a long, a long yeah. <laughs> In a dream world, it would be every day. Right, <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, realistically, about two days a week. Yeah. On good weeks, it could be four. Yeah. Yeah, like two classes, yeah, and then classes. practicing on my own. I've been trying to create a lot of sequences too, because mm -hmm. I yeah, just I finished sequences. training. So. Yeah. Have you seen a major difference since practicing yoga? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> You wanna, yeah, yeah, I didn't used to do yoga. The first yoga class I ever went to was eight years ago with Karina, and I've been practicing ever since, but I would say the first couple years, I was really, really intimidated by it. Um, so it left me feeling anxious, like I wasn't doing it right. And I think it, it took finding the right instructors too, to feel really um, welcome and kind of centered on my mat. And then now I feel like it is, it's such an individual practice too. Mm -hmm. And I feel, uh, you obviously leave yoga feeling better than what you did going in. Always. I first started 15, 16 years ago, mostly for the mental benefits. And I did a lot of kundalini at mm. that time, so it was more meditative. And then I got into the yoga classes that were more vinyasa flow and for the more physical side. Yeah. So I started out with more just focused on the mental. Which is so. good that you have that foundation. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like the biggest transformation from doing yoga, I would say, would definitely be more of the mental and emotional differences that I've seen. Um, I just feel like a lot calmer, a lot more in control of like what's going on in my head and how I react to things. And I think from doing yoga more outside of exercise, the best part of it is that it just genuinely, I feel like it makes you a better person. When you walk out, you feel like making you better be choices. Angry. Yeah. We've taken yoga classes where where we'll do burpees. Oh like yeah. Hot mm -hmm. runs. I love that. It's, I know. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. Where you're screaming and you're like, no. But you still I love it, leave feeling zen. Yeah. yeah. It's different. <laughs> All right, what is your go-to snack when you're traveling? I'm just gonna say the avocado. My oh. go-to snack when I'm traveling is throw an avocado in your purse. You look weird, but it's good. <laughs> no, I love that. My favorite snack while traveling, I would say it would have to be wine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Pretty much whenever we travel together, we'll end the day or a snack, shoot. A little sip sip. Of wine. That's probably the most frequent snack of traveling. <laughs> is that okay? Wine. Is that a snack? <laughs> um, I was feeling inspired. I love almonds, so mm -hmm. I think it's the same thing. She brought this up in another in our coffee chat recently. Um, if you have something that's healthy and higher in fat, then it will actually help balance your blood sugar levels, and you won't get as hungry or, or as hungry sooner. Um, mm -hmm. If that makes sense, or it holds you over. Yeah, yeah. Mine would be if I have the time to meal prep, it would be bringing little muffins or protein pancakes yeah. mm -hmm. with our protein. Yeah. That's, that's just something they can shove in your purse and take anywhere. <gasps> just picture that. Oh my gosh, can I tell you this? What? So I packed for this trip and I packed little toner nut protein muffins and I put everything out um, to go and we were leaving at like four in the morning and in the middle of the night I heard all this like the bag rustling and Abby and Toby, my two cats, got into my purse and started eating the protein, protein muffins. <laughs> no, cats. You know, it monkey. was so weird. I've never cats. seen it. Yeah. It was so monkey. cute. Loves protein shakes. Whenever monkey's my cat. Oh. <laughs> You're like, what the hell are you doing? No, uh, yeah, whenever I make a shake and I leave it on the counter or on the dining room table, she comes and she licks it so all the time. Little she... up pets. Yeah, yeah it's so cute. Oh, yeah, Winston, my dog, eats kale and panties. Loves it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How do you curb your afternoon and evening munchies? Mm. 
I think kind of like what you just touched on is eating something high fat um, kind of helps with sugar cravings and blood sugar crash for yeah. sure. Avocados, nuts. Oh yeah, making a trail mix. Mm -hmm. If you have trail mix, so say you have a bunch of dried fruit and you eat that dried fruit, it will actually spike your blood sugar a lot. But if you combine nuts with fruit, it lowers the glycemic index that your blood sugar is cool. It's like, I'm chill. So think about if you're gonna have an apple, have a little almond butter with it, a healthy fat, and then you kind of even out and then you get your antioxidants from the fruit. Um, so always think about combining your fats too with something like a dried fruit or a piece of fruit. Um, but yeah, it totally keeps you. Yeah, even. like almond butter's a good snack too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, with honey. Oh, so a good. spoonful of. Honey makes the almond butter go down. It does. <laughs> that is a good one. Uh, I would say a trail mix. I was going to add to your trail mix when you make your own. Mm -hmm. I love to throw in uh, cinnamon and sometimes a little bit of sea salt. And if you're really snazzy, put in some carob chips. Oh yeah. I like doing that yeah. too. Cinnamon actually helps with your metabolism and, and your blood sugar and yeah. your breath. <laughs> favorite place, favorite destination to travel to? Right now I have a place in my heart for Hawaii because we just got married there yeah. and I'm craving to go back to Kauai and back to the beach where we got married. So that's kind of just a place that just is here for me. That's a really good spot. Um, I guess my favorite place, right now my favorite places to travel are anywhere where you can ski. I've become, I know you guys are California babes. I'm like East Coast, like, oh, you are too. But yeah, um, yeah. so I love going to Colorado to ski or Utah. Um, so I'd say right now, it's like either Colorado or Utah. Mm, I love yeah. that. Yeah. My favorite place to go um, every year is Catalina. Mm. So Catalina Island and a group of us go, and then we usually take another trip, even an overnight stay, and we'll take a boat and kind of anchor it, which the first time we tried that, we did not anchor in the right place. <laughs> and I didn't know that I could get seasick. And <laughs> I was like, wow, did I drink that much wine or am I seasick? And I was on the back of the boat from like 3 a.m. to 5, like whew, heavy breathing. So mm -hmm. hard on shoots when we shoot on boats. Oh. So hard. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you're like trying to pose for pictures. And you're like, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> So, but anyway, I Catalina Island. Yeah. Minus I've never the been seasickness. There. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's magical. Yeah. Awesome. All right, the question is what do you do when you're traveling and you want to work out but you don't have your dumbbells? I bring our booty bands. Same. Yes. I mean that that's the great thing. There's so many great ways to work out and travel and things that don't weigh anything. So booty bands, exercise bands, mm -hmm. put them in your purse. Yeah, I'll do the booty bands, and I also bring, um, do you know the gliders? Like yeah. the flat gliders? Yeah. Those yeah. are really good too. So like any that. hotel room or floor, they're like these flat gliders so you can do like mountain climbers or squat, like you can do so much stuff with them. I always bring those two things. I love the sliders. Yeah. yeah. And then I would say just body weight. If you don't have either, mm -hmm. there's so many exercises and so many workouts that you can do with just your body weight. Mm -hmm. And you can you do any of our tone up workouts anywhere, yeah. which is cool. And you were talking about earlier about heavy lifting. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm. I heavy lift myself. <laughs> I would consider doing a push up, heavy lifting. <laughs> like, oh, it's hard. Yeah, that's it hard. really is. Or it tricep is. push ups. That's a lot on the triceps. Your body yeah. weight is enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To tone your Working on my handstand, my shoulders, oh, yeah. shoulders be popping. <laughs> How did you become a health and nutrition coach? I became a health coach. I took a class online called the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. Yeah, so it was a year long. I did it last October to this October, and every week it comes out with new modules and it teaches you pretty much everything there is to know about um, every kind of dietary theory. It was interesting. It wasn't really teaching you how to eat. It was just kind of teaching you like, paleo, veganism, you know, all the different ways people eat. And there was a lot of psychology involved with it and sort of overall balance. The whole um, program is a lot about balance, which I really like. So then I graduated, or got my diploma in October, and now I'm a technically a health coach. I'm like, okay, cool. That's so yeah, cool. it was fun. It was really good. I love that. Yeah. So the question is, what are your favorite inspirational or motivational books, podcasts, or audiobooks? I got a list. Put it on a blog post here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I let's go to audiobooks. A year ago, I was not into audiobooks, but now I'm so into it. I have the audiobooks app, and I drive a lot back and forth from Palm Springs, or even when I'm on my morning walk with my dog, I'm always listening to some kind of book. Um, inspirational 
What? Yeah, I need to do audio it's, books. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. I can get through like two books a week on audio. Well, depends. Sometimes there's four hour books, sometimes there's like 15 yeah. hour books. Oh. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I love for, I mean, there's, I would say my core ones are The Four Agreements, uh, mm. Tuesdays with Maury, everybody should read. It's oh, so inspirational that. and le life. Yes, I always give it to people for gifts. Mm -hmm. uh, You've given it to me twice. I know, I'm still waiting for you to read it. <laughs> I have. You did? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, I like started it. I, I'm like halfway. I have to but it's it. like, it's, yeah. it is like a sit down and read it like all like all through. Yeah. You can read it you, on like a, a weekend. A quick, yeah. You, yeah. Or a long flight home. Mm -hmm. um, I another one I love is A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, I mean, there's so many. Yeah, that's that's good. Um, yeah, I was gonna say The Four Agreements is definitely one of the ones that I like. I also just read a good one called Life on Purpose, um, which was really great. And then I also sometimes listen to Bulletproof Radio or Tim Ferriss. Do you know mm -hmm. Tim Ferriss? Yeah, four hour work week. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I need to do all these audiobook things. Yeah. I'll show you my app. Yeah. That's where I listen to the more, um, I would say, business more serious books and mm -hmm. more audio and then yeah. I like to sit and read the inspirational, motivational, light a candle, touch mm -hmm. glass of wine. That's yeah. nice. See, I'm doing the opposite. I think I would want to listen to the audiobooks with the inspirational and everything because I'm reading, I read a lot of business books or I had to read Yoga Anatomy mm -hmm. um, and now I'm reading my, I'm going after my CSCS so that's a lot of uh, anatomy and just science, I guess. It's crazy, but I want to do more yeah. audiobooks. But I love Leaders Eat Last is a very inspirational book book um, for for any any girl out there um, having the confidence to lead your own life and lead people around you and knowing that you are a leader. You told me about that book, and mm -hmm. that's on my audiobook that I've been listening oh, cool. to. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The question everyone wants to know. What is your morning and evening skincare routine? Yeah, I mean, I guess every morning I always wash my face first. I use just a Burt's Bees creaming cleanser. You can get it at the drugstore. Um, and then for moisture, and then I'll just always moisturize and I'll use, I use the Jason product. So I use Burt's Bees and Jason because they don't have parabens and a lot of chemicals in it just because my skin gets irritated like from a lot of makeup and travel. It just like gets really tired. And then I do the same thing at night. I just always make sure I get my makeup off if I have after after a long day of work and there's like a heavy amount of wake up makeup, I'll use coconut oil to get off, um, to get the makeup off my eyes because it's a little bit gentler and kind of loosen up the makeup and then wash with the Burt's Bees and just always moisturize. I love Burt's Bees. Me I too. Do too. And so Jason cute. Yeah. And coconut oil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should use more coconut oil on my face. It can yeah. get every, anything off. Yeah. And it's so good. I, I'm like, I have had acne my whole life, well, maybe not when I was like young, young, yeah. um, but I use retinal products, benzoyl peroxide, lots of exfoliants, um, and then coconut oil and vitamin C and vitamin E serum, and then uh, Dermalogica under eye that cream, was which she, is amazing. <laughs> yeah, the, this eye lift cream, and that's what she came to my hotel room mm -hmm. this morning to put under her eyes because they were all puffy from traveling and dry, <laughs> and then put it all over her face. I was like, face. you know what? It was crazy. I put it underneath my eyes, I'm like, Whoa, that worked. I'm like, maybe it'll work on my entire face. I'm like, <laughs> I just put it all over. I think it was good. I even put it on my neck. I was like, maybe yeah. just in case my neck is puffy. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty good about my routine. I don't have a ton of specific products. I have so, I, so many different yeah. products I like. Most, I try to keep them all natural, but every morning, first thing I do, I don't wash it, my face like you do, but I just reapply some more moisturizer. <laughs> so an AM moisturizer and then a sunscreen and under eye cream uh, and usually a vitamin C serum. And then the evening, an eye cream again. And well, I wash my face and then eye cream and night. Like you I, inspired me to take better care of my skin at night. Yeah, yeah. So I would just kind of wash off my makeup and put acne medicine on and then you're like yeah but you need to also moisturize and do this I'm like no I'm gonna break out and you told me to use oils yeah. and I was like no 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 and then I did and it, I didn't break out yeah. it was yeah. crazy you have to experiment yeah yeah but you take really good care of your skin I was once saw on Oprah like 10 years ago 
this woman who was like 70 and she looked 50 and she said her number one thing is wake up and put moisturizer in your face. Huh. And so I started Did she say that. not to wash it? Some people say not to wash it to oh, keep the is? oils on. Some no. people say like it's good to have the oil from overnight. I don't know. Oh, anyway, I like wash it right away. But, <laughs> Sorry, but you're like, I don't know. My dog sleeps like oil. on my face at night, so I feel like I should wash it in the morning. Yeah. I'm okay. like, oh, Winston. Lipstick or lip gloss? Gloss. Neither. What? What? <laughs> like my I lips like, are just naturally no, baby pink. I just pink. prefer to moisturize them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like um, chapstick it wasn't an option. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm bad at rabbit fire. Me too. I don't wear lip any gloss. makeup. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> I guess lipstick. <laughs> All right, beach or mountains? Beach. Mountains. Depends. Yeah, on my that's mood. not an answer beach, because I obviously chose to live at the beach, but I like escaping to the mountains, and I love the mountains in Palm Springs. I know, so yeah, beautiful. I like yeah. the mountains and the mm -hmm. beach. Okay, one thing you would bring with you on a deserted island. One. <laughs> what? Karina. I would I'm an you. item? Mm, if I could yeah, only I choose one item. thing. Yeah. We can turn into an we, item. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We kind of <laughs> are an item. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, food? Wine? Water? A dog? A Kindle? Is there electronics? Is there electricity? <laughs> oh yeah. I Did thought you just read? wanted the scent. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh that's Oh no, smart. Kindle. Like, <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> I thought she wanted a candle too, but I'm like, that's smart because she'll have fire. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me? I was like, oh that's smart. Like you'll be able to cook. Because I wouldn't want to rub two sticks together. <laughs> a Kindle. We don't know. Next question. <laughs> Please don't desert us anywhere. We won't make <laughs> no. it. Get up early. Get up early. I love to sleep in. <laughs> but I usually get up early. Yeah. <laughs> You've been mints lately. I have? Yeah, you were having mint and I'm like, oh, the spray. I got that at the conference. <laughs> Keep it in my purse. You went to a conference and she was like spraying it. It's like going the opposite way. <laughs> um, I like gum. I gum. Like gum. Boots or heels? Boots. 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 With heels, boots with heels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> boots with the heels. Tea or coffee? Coffee. 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 Yoga. Oh, that's hard. Um, yoga. Yoga. Cycling's really hard on the... Yeah. You gotta build the callus. I just, yeah. I can't handle when you say that. I know. When we were training for the triathlon, I was like, ow. My undercarriage really hurts, and I feel like the bone is bruised. Yeah. And she's like, you got to build up a callus there. I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> she, got As scared. If. she got really scared and thought you actually build up a callus. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't? No. Oh. What color is your toothbrush? It's blue because I grew up with um, a brother and sister, and we all had different eye colors, so our toothbrushes would match our eye color. So you didn't forget which oh. one was so yours. So did one of them have a, bra a brown my toothbrush? Had brown. <laughs> my sister has brown, my brother is green, and I'm blue. <laughs> I have a blue toothbrush. I have okay. a pink one. I would not want the brown toothbrush. No. <laughs> I would kind of just feel like it was dirty. Doty mouth? I have white and with like a little mint, mint on the side. If you could be any animal, what would it be? I would be Winston. Winston has a really good life. I would be a whale. I love whales. And That's I love the so ocean. Cute. And I love Pisces and yeah. I like the water and whales are smart. <laughs> I would be a cat. Alright, question is what's your favorite movie co quote? Mm. <laughs> quote. I quote movies a lot. She quotes movies all the time and I have no clue what she's talking about because I don't have I'm not a movie quote person, so I actually can't answer that question. I'll quote a movie and I'll be like <laughs> and she's like <laughs> what movie do you quote the most? I know um, which one I do. Mean Girls. Same! Oh! I was gonna say, stop trying to make fetch happen. That and like, I feel like, I don't know why, this is such a boy thing. I feel like I quote old school a lot. I don't mean to like, mm -hmm. dude, you got a dart in your neck. <laughs> I don't know what. I thought you meant you quote old school like quotes. See, like, 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 you mean that, that look on your face right now is exactly what you give me. Like, what did I say? I, said something, I said something from Mean Girls the other day, and you were like, like, oh, it was during a meeting, a very important yes, meeting. Yes, yesterday's meeting, and you quoted Mean Girls. I was like, <laughs> but you were like, why did you just say that? And it was like, cause it was so out there. <laughs> but one person got it. One yeah, okay, person. that's all that yeah. matters. Someone got it. <laughs> What is the most interesting thing in your purse or wallet? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right. 
Okay. And now I'm curious. I'm just gonna pull out a few things. Yeah, this was for traveling, so oh. it could be really interesting. All right. Fireball! Can I have a sip of that? Yeah, it's so been good. here for like eight hours, but it's, it's a cold. ginger. What's in there? Sarah's probably like, don't drink it. Um, orange, ginger, whoa. I just put my mouth to it and the back of my glands just went. Um, lemon, cayenne, and oil of, or, uh, oil of oregano. Yeah. Why? I was gonna say Oregon. <laughs> oil, oil of Oregon. <laughs> doesn't it like, it doesn't look like yeah. oregano. Travel dry shampoo. Mm. Gotta always Sounds have. Is that the lid that goes with that? <laughs> <laughs> you just decided a different one. It's really funny. Um, mm. oh. oh, wow. Sunglasses mm. and a crimper. This is so funny. This is not normal, though. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> you guys really carry this with you all the time. It's, it's because we, like, we didn't check luggage either. Like, oh, right. I think this is the first time in my entire life I've never checked luggage. Yeah. It's weird. Headphones that mm -hmm. haven't been used yet. Yeah. <laughs> Those at the airport. Some yoga pants. Uh, I hear a lot of receipts. Yeah, there's receipts in here. My wallet. There's not too much in here. Um, a journal where I write my meals and my workouts. I always have to bring that with me. Um, <laughs> boobs. <laughs> kind of like, yeah. These are great. You know what? This is out of a Lorna Brain. Lorna, Lorna Brain. <laughs> I have not had enough, and Sarah did not do a refill. Okay, this is out of a Lorna Jane sports bra, and just a secret, if you even put these in anything, it gives you the best tatas. Lorna Jane, you know what's up. Oh, always have to have a scrunchie. Feel this. That is the cutest scrunchie in the world. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you one, I have lots. Oh, <laughs> these are so gross. <laughs> I know exactly what that is. Chicken cutlets. But guys. So you just pack a whole bunch of boob stuff in your purse. I, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so these actually have a lot of sand on them from shoots at the beach. Uh, <laughs> yep, I know exactly. Oh. Oh. Ah, see? Ah. The, oh, oh, that's not a good mix of that cayenne pepper and <laughs> Oregon. Oregon oil. <laughs> Oh, I stole a washcloth from the hotel. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I wrapped it around to my curling iron, which is missing. Um, oh, because you always need big, sexy hair. <laughs> I have that too. <laughs> I feel like Mary Poppins. Um, another pad of paper, because I never take notes. <laughs> she has no, a notepad at every meeting. And, and, you and, look, and, and, you, and I'm like, what do you write? She's like, it says notes at the top. Yeah. <laughs> or like, to do. And it's like, nothing. <laughs> Kalo. Kalo rings. Just in case. Switch it out. And in case you want to work out, and switch out your ring. Always have those. Deodorant, which I'm going to be using organic deodorant. What's your Same. brand? Hmm. What do you use? Um, Schmitz is really mm -hmm. good, and also uh, pit paste. Pit paste, I saw yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Passport. Don't Do you want to explain? Why you don't have a driver's license? I haven't I had either. a driver's license. You don't? I let my, left my wallet in a cab. How I many see. years ago? Like the other day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> How many years has she not had a driver's license? Five years? No, Catalina in 2014. Three, Three years. Mm -hmm. I just decided not to go to the DMV. If you see her driving <laughs> on the road, pull her over. Never know when you get a smoothie where it doesn't have a cute smoothie or a cute straw and you need a cute photo out for Instagram. Wow, that's, that's a cute. solid straw. Yeah, just every moment that's an Instagram moment. Oh, makeup forever. Um, 1C, this color is such a good natural color. Mm -hmm. You get what naturally Emily has. White, red, or pink? Um, pink. Pink. Oh, oh, uh, wine. Oh, wine. Wine. Like, not. Oh, uh, all of them. Um, oh. Red, 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 red. I should probably specify. Usually white lately, mm -hmm. and then switch to red. I usually like to start with pink, and then go to the white, and then go to the red. <laughs> Just kidding. I, okay. I like, I like rosé, especially it's going into summer. All right, last question. She always has to know this. Are you wearing panties? And <laughs> what color are they? Yes, and they're black. Oh. Thong or booty short? Thong. 
I saw yours in there. That thumb, the thumb. Yeah. <laughs> you are looking. No, because see? I was peeking. Like, I'm I about to peek. Did you see the holes? Because you're always you know, supposed to oh, wear. No, but you're always supposed to wear nude panties. I was like, yeah. wow, so profesh. Yeah. Mine aren't. Do you she know? Me that. Yeah. Do you know that? She was in yoga class doing a happy baby one time yeah. and realized that Winston had chewed through her yoga pants and she wasn't wearing panties. They were a good pair too. They were bandier <laughs> and I was like so <laughs> devastated because like that is like, those are some nice pants. I was thinking like, can I can I make this work? Can I actually like do a patch? Is that cool? Like can I, <laughs> yeah, can I go back to the designing board with a bandier and like do some kind of like cool thing? Like, I don't know. Yeah, but are anyway. You? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm being very professional with nude See? song as well. I'm the model. I should know. I should. I'm always like I should, but yeah. yeah. All right. Well, cheers to that. I can't believe you peeked at my panties. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed when you came in, you just like took your pants off, like oh. standing there. No, but I was like, oh, you're wearing nude panties. I should have done that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do that. I usually just enter rooms like completely naked. Like I just am like I don't even know. That's, it's bad. I would. I'm the same. I'm, like Wait, totally desensitized this is to that. So crazy. Can, one more thing. I just arrived to yoga the other day, and th there was the guy working at the front desk that's usually there like 6:30, and I was so tired, and I hadn't really had enough coffee. I had like a shot of espresso. And I took my sweatshirt off and I went like this with my pants and put it down to my knees and I looked at the front desk and I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> I was wearing my, my underwear. Oh my God. And I was like, I am so sorry. Here's my yoga story is rolling out my yoga mat and then I grab my, my, my yoga towel out of the dryer on the way out, and then I go like this, and my panties fly like, out. <laughs> out. And it's happened funny. to me three times. And you always send me a picture, because the first time you did it, you were so embarrassed, and I'm like, why would you not take a picture of that? That's brilliant, it's so funny. And then she sent me a picture the next two times that happened. All right. Okay. Well, that was funny. Right. <laughs> so okay. here. These are like magnifying glasses. These are Look. so beautiful. Look at her face, ready? Oh yeah. Because <laughs> cats have nice lives. Would you be a monkey? I would not be monkey because oh. she's a little rat who shits on my countertop. <gasps> you sound like Bobby. <laughs> you morphed into Bobby. She poops on my kitchen counter now. And I was petting her the other day and she took her teeth and bit me. This she's, is from she's That's where she's always yeah. done that though. Ow. If anybody wants her, DM I'm me.